Today is a bit of a sad day for us. It is our final day here in the Philippines. So, so sad. Our time has completely flew by, but we are back in Cebu City and we fly out of here early tomorrow morning. So we have one more day to explore the city and see some of the areas that we didn't get a chance to see the last time we were here. And we've decided that whenever we are exploring the city today, we want to basically talk you through all the highs and the lows and the good and the bad things that we have loved and not really loved about our time here in the Philippines. We're gonna get this day kick-started and start it like we start every other day here in the Philippines and get some breakfast. Okay, so we have decided to start our day the same way we've started every day here in the Philippines in Julie's Bake Shop. Bake shops are everywhere here throughout the Philippines and me and Ashley both love bread. So this is a great way to start the day and one of the main things we have actually loved so, so much about the Philippines as well because the bread here is so, so good. Okay, so it's time to leave now. We're gonna hop in a jeepney and head to the other side of Cebu City. Thank you. Welcome, boy, boy. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that brings us on to the next thing in our list, which is transport. The transport here in the Philippines, we've had a bit of an up and down relationship with. We have loved the jeepneys in the city so, so much. They've honestly been so much fun and a really good, cheap way to get around as well. But it did take us a while to kind of understand them and get used to them when we were in Manila initially. Where are you going? We're going somewhere. I don't know where, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> but we think we've got the hang of it now. And then once you get to the smaller island, it's all really tricycles, which are kind of scooters or motorbikes with like a wee side compartment to sit in as well. And we've enjoyed them so much too. However, we have found because we are tourists and foreigners here in the Philippines, everybody sticks the arm in whenever it comes to price. We have been charged so, so much and everybody literally have been charging us like double, sometimes triple for the tricycles. So we have bargained them down and got them at a good price, but just make sure to bargain your price. And the same for the taxis as well. We have got a few taxis when we're in the bigger cities and every time we've got into a taxi, they have either started the meter at double the rate or the clock on the meter of the taxi has been running at an extremely fast rate, which means your run is really, really expensive compared to what it should be. Just watch the meters, keep an eye on it, and then say to the taxi driver, look, your meter's fast or you're charging too much, and he will instantly drop his price, or they have with us every single time we have mentioned it anyway. So yeah, our relationship with transport has been a bit up and down in our time in the Philippines, but overall, not too bad. So another major way of getting around the Philippines, for us anyway, has been by ferries. And the ferries have been a little bit more expensive than what we were expecting them to be because you have to buy your ticket, then you have to pay for a terminal fee. Most of the smaller islands also have an environmental fee and then you also have your baggage on top of that. So there's a lot of additional charges that we didn't initially think at the start. But if you have yourself well planned out, you can get flights around the Philippines for really, really cheap. As long as you have them booked about two to three weeks in advance, it's a really, really good and quick way to get around and see a lot more of the Philippines. So the area we had just got off the jeepney in is Colon Street and the Colon area, which is actually like the oldest street here in the Philippines. We checked it out fully and explored loads of it in our first Cebu City vlog, so you can go check it out. But for now, we're gonna have a quick walk around here, maybe grab some more food and then see what else we can find and discover the day. brings us on to our next thing again which is the food here in the Philippines. We've had a bit of a mixed relationship with the food as well. The food here has been gorgeous don't get me wrong we have loved so many things like the banana cues, the taron, the, the lachons are absolutely amazing. Oh that's so good. And the main thing we probably love is the fried chicken you can get literally everywhere on the side of the road. But food is a massive part of our travel experience and mainly markets and street food. And that's something that we haven't found as often or as frequent here in the Philippines as some of the other countries we have visited and traveled around. So unfortunately, we didn't really get to try as much and as many different foods as we kind of initially had hoped coming here as well. But overall, I would say the food has been a massive success and we have actually fallen in love with quite a few of the dishes here as well. So overall, the food's been pretty good. Chicken. <laughs> So because it is our last day, we had to come in and try a Filipino dessert that we haven't got a chance to try yet, which is the Halo Halo. 
So we've come in, we're gonna give it a try. It's like loads of different ice creams, jellies, different things, but it looks really, really nice with like a custard over the top. So we're gonna give it a try and see how it is. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I like the purple ice cream. Mm -hmm. Jellies. Oh, they're chewy. Mm. I think there's a nut in there as well. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> So it's actually quite similar to the sandal we had when we were in Malaysia as well. It's got like loads of shaved ice in the middle of it, loads of different jellies and custard and just different things but it's very very tasty so I think we're going to have no bother finishing this. seen another area. <laughs> so Owen said earlier that we don't see very many like food markets but there are a lot of public markets where they sell like different fruit, veg, fish especially as well. So that was one of those places and we really like having a wee walk around those. People ever always give us a bit of a weird look so we feel like it's not somewhere that like many tourists go into but we really enjoy just going in and seeing how everyone goes about their daily lives. And as Ashleen said, people stare at us absolutely everywhere we go. Literally everywhere in the Philippines we have been, we've just been stared at the whole time. Just by everybody, people walking past, when you go into like a restaurant, everybody turns around to look at you. When you go into a shop, they're all like, everybody's tapping their friends, tapping their colleagues to like look as well. But it's something we haven't actually minded. It's been a great excuse for us to kind of engage with the locals here and to get chatting to people as well. And whenever people do look and stare, we just smile and wave back. Normally they smile, they say hello, and everybody's been so, so friendly here. And that is probably the number one thing that we love the most about the Philippines is the locals, the people, and just how friendly everybody is. No matter where you go, people are willing to talk to you, want to help you out. Like anytime we've looked confused or looked like we're in the wrong area, someone comes over, reassures us, lets us know where to go, and lets us know of like different dishes to try. Anytime we've went to like restaurants, people have been so friendly and just describing everything. And honestly, we can't put it into words how nice everybody has been and how much they have made our experience so, so much better here in the Philippines. I just can't resist anytime I see banana on the side of the street, no matter how it's cooked, I need some. So I think this one's called banai pai, I think it's pronounced. And it's just banana like sliced deep fried with some butter and covered in sugar and it looks amazing, it smells amazing and it is roasting hot so I'm gonna have to give this one a few minutes before it dries. Look at this banana -y. goodness, it's like a wee flower or a shell. <laughs> Honestly, anything banana, I am obsessed with. This is so, so good. Another good snack that I got on the side of the street. But I think we are now going to look for another jeepney or some sort of or some sort of transport and we're going to head to the SM Seaside Mall. So I think that's going to be our next and maybe final stop of the day. So hopefully we'll have no trouble getting there. As we were walking down the street we could hear quite a lot of singing going on really really loudly and it's reminded us of something that we have experienced a lot since being here in the Philippines and something we haven't been a big fan of to be honest is karaoke. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, we like karaoke as much as the next person, but here in the Philippines, it is all day, all night, karaoke, all the time. We've literally been woken up in the morning quite a few times by people singing karaoke as loud as possible. During the middle of the night, it's going on all night in certain places, and it's a massive, massive thing here in the Philippines is karaoke. They just absolutely love it. And I suppose it's each to their own personally, it's not for us. <laughs> we would much rather a bit of a peaceful time, but yeah, karaoke is something that has given us a real laugh since being here, but hasn't really been a highlight of the experience in the trip so far, to be perfectly honest. It's been probably one of the flaws, I would say. <laughs> it's Owen and Ashley. Oh, my name's Vincent. My name's Owen Vincent Ruddy. Oh, you said the same. My daddy's called Vincent. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you too. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, they were lovely. They were just so nice. Yeah. Yeah.
And we have a few things that we have to pick up before we leave the Philippines tomorrow, so that's why we've come here. But before we go inside, there's a few more things that we want to talk about that we've loved about the Philippines. And one of those things has been the marine life here. We have been so, so taken back by the sea life, the marine life, it has been amazing. This is the first time that we've seen turtles and we have seen so many turtles. We've also got to swim with whale sharks. And honestly, it has just been so, so amazing. The coral, the reef, it's just something out of this world that we appreciate so, so much. And the last thing, and probably the most obvious thing, is the beauty of the Philippines. The country is honestly just stunning. There is so, so many beautiful, amazing locations. The beaches are so nice. The mountains are absolutely amazing. They are so, so green. The islands are fantastic. And we've actually really enjoyed exploring the cities as well. It's just been an unbelievable experience so far and this, the whole trip has just been absolutely amazing. We have had the best time here and just the, the beauty of the Philippines, it has blown us away. We did know that it was gonna be gorgeous when we were coming. We had seen plenty of pictures, plenty of videos, been chatting to quite a few people that have been here before, but it just, you can't compare it until you're actually here. It is just absolutely breathtaking and we have just been blown away by everything we have seen here. And that is us. That is a bit of a summary of our time here in the Philippines. And if you haven't already guessed, we, we loved, loved it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Our time here has been yeah. absolutely amazing and we know we will definitely be back because we haven't Without seen the half of it here. There is yeah. so, so much to see in the Philippines. And if you haven't already come yourself to see it, you have to come and check it out for your own eyes. Yeah, we hope we have so to tell you in this video and our previous videos as well. It's truly amazing. Just come and keep your wits about you. Don't be worried about anything. It is a stunning, beautiful country. The people are absolutely amazing. So, so friendly, so helpful. And the country in general is just... Amazing. <laughs> amazing is the only word I can think of. It's so, so good. And thank you so, so much to everybody that has recently come on board with the channel, who has been subscribing, liking our videos, commenting, leaving us recommendations, and just kind of touching base with us overall. We have honestly massively appreciated so, so much. So thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah. And if you've watched any of our other videos, we are gonna end this here. And we really hope that you've enjoyed. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hopefully we'll see you along the way. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>